It is a show that changed the way America sees police work, and Cops is back. In conjunction with the return of the series on Fox Nation, Geraldo Rivera will give viewers a more detailed look at the first four episodes in Cops, all access with Geraldo. He joins us now from New York. Good morning to you, Geraldo. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure, Sharon. Atlanta is one of my favorite towns, and uh, COPS has always been very successful there, and I'm excited to bring it back. Well, I'm pretty sure so many people are excited as well. I remember hearing the theme song, Bad Boys, and knowing it's time to gather around the television and watch it. And, and now the series debuted October 1st, and you're reminiscing about the history of the show with executive producer Morgan Langley. Now, his father, John Langley, created COPS in the 1980s, and some call it a cult classic. It is in, in every regard, Sharon. I mean, we've had 31 very successful seasons. And you mentioned John Langley he was a good buddy of mine. We did a series of syndicated specials way back in those, uh, you know, those prehistoric times in the 1980s <laughs> uh, and really let, led to cops. People are very vitally interested in, in that thin blue line that separates society and civilization from anarchy. Uh, right now, as Atlanta knows, uh, there's a surge in violence that we've got to deal with, uh, and defunding the police is not the way to do it. Uh, you know, uh, disparaging the police is not the way to do it. Uh, it. People should be on the same side as the cops, and I think that's what the new series really is going to do. It's going to put the, the law-abiding people on one side and the bad people on the other side. And, you're going to see a lot of action as uh, as cops try to maintain order in a in a crazy world, uh, Sharon. So it seems like t the time is now, really, to really uh, show the importance of highlighting law enforcement officers. That, that's definitely true, and remember how beleaguered they are. You know, most cops are good cops. Let's face it. You know, we get the bad apple like uh, Derek Chauvin in uh, Minneapolis putting his knee on George Floyd's neck. Uh, you know, as horrible as that. Chauvin got sentenced to over 20 years in jail, and he's, uh, he's put away, and the, uh, there's all the other police that do the job every day, and, and for the people of this country to burn their precincts down or otherwise, uh, you know, lash out at their communities when they, what they should be doing is supporting the cops like they did in the old days. So you have a sense of law and order. People need, Sharon, and you know this, people need to know that they have a reasonable expectation of a, of a lawful, orderly, nonviolent life, that they can live their lives happily, just like cops. The cops go to work, they want to do their job, they want to go home safe and sound. You know, let's reestablish the communication that existed and put this defund the police nonsense off to the side, Char. Very true. And you know what? It's hard to believe, but your journalism career has spanned more than 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> How is that even possible? And congratulations. I, don't know. I, I think my shoes are about 50 years old. <laughs> you look amazing. You look amazing. And you just you're signed nice. a new deal with Fox News Media. Can you talk about some of the other projects you're working on now and the importance of this one as well? Sure. Well, I, I love cops. So having worked with John Langley to get it off the ground, it is very exciting now to be with Morgan, his son, and, pr and being able to present this, uh, this unedited, real-life view of what police work is really like. From my point of view, you know, I, I'm doing the, the Five, the, uh, the big hit show here at the Fox News Channel, uh, at 5 o'clock every day, and that's, uh, you know, they... They let me say anything I want to, so that can be very dangerous. Uh, but a lot of people like it, a lot of people are watching it. And it's just fun. You know, uh, when I started here, I came here from NBC because of the attacks on the World Trade Center, on the 9-11 attacks. Uh, they scarred everyone in Manhattan, people particularly who are from here. Uh, and, and we were stunned, we were wounded, we were hurt, but uh, New York fought its way back. Uh, you know, so it, it is a very Im important, I think, attitude to have that the cops are on our side. They want the same thing we do. They mm -hmm. want peace. They want order. They want everyone to, uh, you know, to, to understand that they are on, on the side of the, of the folks. And I think that people will understand that. I mean, the defund the police movement was very ill-advised, and, and it, it resulted in, uh, you saw what happened in Atlanta with the police chief quitting and everything. Uh, you know, that's not the way to give people confidence 
Yeah. The way to give people confidence is to have a relationship with cops and they go after bad guys and that's what they do. And if there's a bad cop who operates outside the scope of his, his legal responsibilities, then we bust him. But don't treat the cops as enemies, we treat them as friends. Well, well I, said. I remember when I was growing up, Sharon, you knew the cop uh, that patrolled your neighborhood. You, you, a lot of them were on foot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what I like. I like that kind of relationship rather than a good guy, bad guy uh, kind of relationship. And we'll see it all displayed on Cops. Geraldo, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. It was and a continued, lot of fun. Thank continued you. Continued success to you. You're like a fine wine. You get better with age. Ah, yeah. uh, <laughs> go on. Go on. I Take appreciate care. that. You're welcome. You. And you can thank watch you. Cops All Access with Geraldo on Fox Nation, the subscription streaming service for Fox News Channel. Look for a new episode in the four-part series this Friday.